Give them a couple of days, and I said, okay. I, well, I told you I didn't want to wait a couple of days because I knew what was going to happen. So I, nicely, I waited. I called you back on a Friday, and you act like I was disturbing you. And you asked me, well, what do you want me to do? Well, as a commissioner, I want you to call them down there and force them because they're not going to do anything without a commissioner that forces somebody's hand. And my situation still exists. I called that city head that's so great. He said that he would be out there to take care of it. And uh, I waited several weeks. Nothing happened. Yeah, come on, man. You know what it is? If it's crushed. Me, yeah. Well, I've called you twice. Got nowhere. So I, I waited a couple weeks. That's not true. I, most certainly is. I called them again okay. and I asked the guy, so I said, I'm just calling you back, just checking the status. And he says, well, we're going to get out there. He says, you know, you don't live on Westgate Parkway. I said, he said, no, he says, that, that ain't Westgate Parkway. I said, exactly. I don't live on Westgate Parkway. And my situation still exists. And that is crushed aggregate concrete from the Sony plant, one of the world's largest, largest polluters that's laying up in that alley that kids play on, but nobody cares, you know. And this other thing you're talking about jobs, I'm just curious now. The hose plant, I mean, when is nothing going to go after like high paying jobs, you know, 10, 12 dollars an hour jobs, what do people live on? I think if you check commercial, commercial jets, 18, 20 dollars an hour. And they pay more than 12 dollars an hour. And they're coming from a place that they're paying their employees now, 35 dollars an hour. I don't know what they're paying. So, are we selling cheap labor here? No, we no. got the best labor force. Oh, well, no, we got the best labor force. Yeah. I'm just wondering what, what we're selling their, their, their price out for. Yeah. We got the best labor force around. People are people in Alabama, particularly this area, are proud of what they do, and they'll get out there and they'll work. Well, I just communicating in our neighborhood, that's why I showed up tonight, was that they have called just like I did, and your response was, here, let me give you this number to call. And that's not how to get something done in our neighborhood. I called John Craig. He would be there, and it was taken care of. Dr. Stokes, same way. We don't call for much, but the safety, street lights, stuff like that is very important that, uh, in our neighborhood. I think if you check my record, I'm good at taking care of problems and get before. So maybe I'm the long I ranger. You may be. You could be. But I... It's, which is rain now, nobody can do anything, but I've got a mess. Granted, it ain't Westgate Parkway, but it's, it's an extension of my drive. That's, what they meant by that. That's very crucial. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, any other questions? Yes, I okay. will go back to the Ray Harris thing. Okay. That's my name, right? <laughs> <laughs> you won't do that? Well, my, okay. Since we've had this conversation, I will start calling you. <laughs> And you may you be call sorry. me, I can get Ray out there. You may be sorry you told me to do this, no, but no. anyway. What did Ray say when, when, about the vacant lot that's I think he up? told me there was no <coughs> violations out there. There's no How violations? How can you say that? Well, you got to go by the law, Miss Patch. You can't just say... Well, wait, wait. Back, back, up, back, back, back up, back up, back up, back <laughs> up. You've got this vacant lot here, right. okay, that this man is using, that he's not paying any rent on. And he's got it so that it's washing away because he's parked so many vehicles there that there's no grass on it. And in the back of the lot, I don't, like Carol said, I don't know what's back there because it's like grown up. Do you mean to tell me that the city can't do anything about that? No, it's not the city. be able to control the weeds. What? There's a law for the weeds. The weeds. There's, the weeds. there's a 11 inch. But it's not grass. It, it's it should don't matter. It's weeds. It ain't fucking out there. It's weeds. Well, here's my point. Now, yeah, if there's a problem, there's no money or anything. They tell the homeowner you've got to clear that property to keep grass from it. Okay. I mean, I know you can't do anything about people trespassing because I guess the owners of that lot will have to instigate something on the people trespassing. It just, well, who does have to instigate? <laughs> 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 if not, they can mail us a Well, see, so who did you send the letter to? Well, what do you have to do to get the city to send? We've already sent. 
he's wrong. Yeah, he'll stop if he goes out there and he says they've got it wrong, we can't do it. So, so yeah, this, he's saying that that, 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 that bank a lot has meant the oil. That's what he's saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. He's, 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 he has come back to me and said there's nothing wrong out there. Now things mm -hmm. change and I can use them to go back. I don't mind doing that. <laughs> Would you, would, you ask him, would you ask him to sure. contact Mr. Yeah. Bill and I? We'd like to sit down and have coffee. Yeah. 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 Right there in the corner. He and I work great. Good. I mean, I'm, I don't mean the man any harm. I'm just very, I'm, I'm sure everybody can tell. She brings the next problem. It's the next collision. Well, I am frustrated and I'm also scared. It, it's a matter yeah, of trouble. That's a thing You know? It is. I asked him, I'll ask you the same question. Nobody's applauding you, they just complain. Why do you want to do it again? <laughs> because he's a civic minded person. That's right, that's one reason. 50 years ago this fall, I joined a service organization right, called the Washington. It's a service organization. Service means you serve people. That's what a city commissioner's job is to make serving you people of this reform. Your problem is my problem. Your concern is my concern. If I can help you solve a problem, solve a concern, I get a great deal of satisfaction out of it. I love to do that. I love working with people, helping them solve their problems. And to me, that's the job of the city commission. That's why I love it. I it. For everything. No, 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 no. no. I'm sure Commissioner Craig would agree with me that, that we get a lot more. You get calls, but you don't get crazy calls that much. That's an overstated thing. I don't. I get people that call, and, and, and I, I know how to take care of the problems. I call them back to make sure the problems taken care of. I call them a phone call or a visit, and uh, take care of it. It makes you feel great. Right. Go to the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Okay. Take care. Any other questions? I have one. Oh, my. Automated garbage, you said, eliminated the need for guys hanging off the back of trucks, right? That happened when? Uh, we went to automated. Uh, it's been about seven years. Yeah, I think it was been about five. No, it hasn't been that long. It's been about five. It, now it the new the new curbside recycling. How does that? How does those boxes get picked up now? <laughs> they get picked up by hand, which means they hang off the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of repeating. Our yeah, past putting, a, putting a recycling thing in the back of the truck is a lot different than putting a thirty or forty pound those garbage can. That you, got, that you got that you got the bang on the right. side. See, that was one of the problems when people stuff their garbage cans. Those guys had to pick them up, bang them on the thing, and bend them, and then toss them back in the yard. Well, you had complaints. My people bending my garbage can. Well, if you didn't stuff it so hard, you wouldn't have to bang it on the back. And and you went from one man to three men to one man, cut down tremendously on, on right. salaries and all that. Right, I agree. Plus accidents. That's where a lot of accidents occur. Those guys are hanging off the back. But the curbside recycling. How do those three men ride the truck? They all jump out of the cab together. No, or they hang on no, the back. It's a separate truck. It's a separate truck. It's not the garbage. I understand truck. that. But how does that curbside truck get to my house to pick up? My, how do those three men arrive at my house to pick up my curbside? Well, they, first of all, they get on a, a recycling truck that we bought with a grant. We didn't spend money to buy those trucks. We got those. Great. I'm not asking how you bought the truck. The I'm asking how those three, three men arrive at my house. Two of them, two of them hang off the back. I wouldn't think they'd hang off the back, get to your house. I mean, when they get to the neighborhood, they got to get out and put it into the can. Yeah. So they're inside the truck. No, when they get in my house, they're on the back. I don't know how to start out. When they get in my house, they're on the back. From what I've seen in some recycle kids, they get a hernia than them. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully this is you know, it's like plastic and stuff that doesn't weigh as much. But yeah, people 
people tend to stuff those things they too. Do yeah. It's plastic, that's not going to weigh that. Can I ask one more? Yeah. Fred, I saw you add today, stay in front of medical school. Can you tell me what your involvement in bringing the medical school here, the city's involvement in bringing the medical school here? Well, again, we work hand-in-hand -hand, uh, with the Dream. The people that Dream that up, uh, they, had, they had had corporations. Specifically, as far as specifically what, what we did, we spent about a million one fixing the interest rate into it. The city did. That was our commitment along with the counties, but we wound up spend, spending about a million one for the interest rate. Now let me go ahead and tell you also that the medical school is on built-in utilities. So we're going to get utilities out of the medical school. Oh, my bills are so going to pay $48 soon. Is there any hope in getting, I mean, to me, how can they charge you more for treating your sewage than the water you use? I mean, the amount of water that you use. Chemicals? First of all, your sewer is based on how much water you use. I know it. So how can it be more? Got to keep drop. For every single drop of it. So there's twice as much crap. We have EPA fines we have to pay. Yeah, we have to treat it. That are coming down the pipe pretty quickly. We did spend millions of dollars. We did spend $41 million on the new sewer treatment. Well, we did that too. Yes, we did. But let me just tell you that, you know, if you live in certain parts of town, you may be on Alabama Power Company, you may be on Wiregrass, but if you look, the Dalton Utilities is still the cheapest. I mean, uh, they're cheaper than Alabama it Power. It was when I moved here, but it's, it's still not cheaper, anymore. believe me. Ask some of your neighbors or your friends that live out. Live out in the country? And have to have Alabama Power. We're still cheaper. I want to know why they can't do a 30 day read at my house. Well, it may vary. It don't they do against them if they don't read. Well, if you look on the HH, you went to reading. Sometimes it'll be as short as 28 days, next time it could be 30 days. 35. I don't think it's 35. Oh, yes, sir. I can really? show yeah. you some business. Yeah, there's, there's some that going on. Well, I, I didn't think it was. Well, what's the worst part of that? They do that. Last bill, I think it was 35 days. Is it you read it? You never know when you're going to get your bill. And I was forced into when they changed that sometime. Their new piece of software that does the billing and the stuff. And this is Dothan is the first place I've ever lived where if you went down there and say, listen, I pay my bills at the first of every month. I need my utility bill to come in. Where were we? Where were we? The only thing where were we anyway makes it easier on you. And, and, and all I'd be taking advantage of the senior discount? No. You tell me about it? No, they don't. Is that based on what you report? I was there. I don't know if it's based on your age. All of you, senior citizens, you can take advantage of that. Every little bit's going out. Well, yeah. Well, mine's zero. I was getting all of a sudden. I didn't know we had such a thing. What's the age to be officially a senior? I'm not sure, but they... 55. That's what I thought. I've got something else to tell you. Do you know the fire department will come out and put you in the little yeah. smoke? Yeah, they, they advertise that. Well, I can, I, Brad, I can either call it for you or you can call it, whichever you want to do. Oh, I wish you'd done that for me earlier. Yeah, I found out today when Lamb was chirping. So I found yeah, out. Yeah, they, they advertise that on TV. Well, thank y'all very much for having me here. I, yeah, know, I, I thought we were Even before I took office, I told y'all I was going to be actively involved when you were having a nice thing. And I think it was you who came up with the slogan, you see something, say something. That would be that's me, and I'll take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was in here, so that's the key to this thing. Y'all remember when I told y'all the story about the lady over in your neighborhood, Brett, that she, she heard the glass breaking, didn't say a thing, didn't call anybody. The glass breaking was the burden of breaking in a house. She should have called that number. You never know where these guys are. They could have been a block away. They could have been cruising right in the neighborhood. They could have been on top of it. Bottom line is, if you see something, say something. I hear you got a telephone number? Did you I had a call to them like blue in my face. Did you know that house next door? Well, we had that instance um, last we week. I was coming home from work, and the lady, Joyce Godwin, that's spoken to us before that had her house broken into about a year ago, they kicked in her back door. It was actually the first one. There. She's not, well, according to HoustonCounty.org, that property is included. And Hamilton Hills, but she's not part of our neighborhood watch. Um, 
there was a guy was beating on her door and he was walking down the driveway and I was coming home and I picked up my cell phone and I called her. I said, I don't see a car, but this guy's walking down your driveway. Well, she was on the phone with her daughter and like, this guy's beating on my door and I don't see a car, you know? And I was like, Joyce, there's a guy walking down your driveway. I don't see a car. What's going on? Call me, let me know. Are you okay? And by the time I got in my car, she was walking and she was like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? And I said, he went off toward Woodland. And so I walked over and we walked down toward Woodland and he was over the, another neighbor's talking to some people out in the yard. I don't know what he was doing, but you know, she said, thank God you called because I wasn't going to go answer the door. He was casing the joint. Well, yeah. you know, that's that exactly what she thought. Um, like I told you all know, so many scared. times, yeah. these yeah. guys, their job is to respond to your call. Yeah. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Call them. Call them. Call them. So get to know your neighbors, get their numbers. Uh, Chris, yeah. I got a couple non-controversial questions, but I want to ask you a question real quick. You said... Did you go to Miami any on the commercial jet project and fly and meet with them? No. Okay. You talked about keyhoes, panhandle converters, Michelin. You talked about Kalia, and you talked about 231 North on the repaving. And then you talked about the one arm banner. Each one of those, you had nothing to do because it was before you became commissioner. So what have you done? Name one of them that you've done as commissioner. Because well, two years ago, when the 231 North wasn't completed by then, I believe. It was already started, Pat the Thomas. Jet, it Pat, happened since I've been and that's it. But that's what I want to know what you Key did. Because starting to expand, and I've been Kehoe's came with Pat Thomas because he went down there. Okay, about but you didn't bring them to Dothan, and 231 North, Pat Thomas's administration did. Because I think about Pat, that's when I drive on that road. So I was just wondering what you had done. I've been a part of working to make those in a better place to live. Mm -hmm. If that means working with, like I say, working with the mayor, working with commissioners, working with regional, regional commissions, businessmen, and the Chamber of Commerce. And that's, I've been a part of this team for two years, and I'd like to be a part of it for four more years. So on August 6th, I would ask that y'all vote for me for city commissioner. And I'll keep coming to these meetings and keep doing what I can to make your neighborhood the best one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.